Welcome dear students and today we are going to discuss the topic numerical taxonomy. In this lecture we will be discussing the concept of numerical taxonomy, history of numerical taxonomy, methods used in numerical taxonomy, applications of numerical taxonomy and its merits and demerits. In biological systems we often talk about taxonomy and systematics. Taxonomy deals with description, identification, nomenclature and classification of living organisms while as a systematics aims at determining the evolutionary relationships among these organisms. There are different systems of classification differing from each other with respect to the criteria for classification or in the methods used for the purpose. In past, classification was largely developed by taxonomists on the basis of a few important characters largely determined by their experience gained over decades of research work. However, this system was thought to be too much subjective to provide objective classification. Many workers suggested that taxonomy should not be based on a few characters arbitrarily judged to be important but rather upon the degree of overall similarity between organisms. This led to the development of numerical taxonomy. Numerical taxonomy is the use of numerical methods in taxonomic treatment of a biological world. Numerical taxonomy involves use of multivariant numerical techniques in taxonomy. Morphology or other observable traits form the basic criteria for this classification and evolutionary relationship is not taken into account. The method is far less subjective than the intuitive methods used before its advancement and advocates use of as many characters in taxonomic studies as possible and determination of similarity or difference between the taxa using numerical calculations involving use of various statistical coefficients and computer algorithms. In numerical taxonomy, operational taxonomic units abbreviated as OTUs are grouped into large clusters on the basis of the degree to which they share a large number of characters and are separated from other such clusters. A matrix is generated in which a degree of similarity between each pair of operational taxonomic units is recorded. The initial cluster consists of those OTUs which are most closely related. The matrix is then examined again and either a third OTU will be grouped with the first two or two other OTUs will be grouped together in a cluster. The process continues till all the OTUs are grouped together. This process can be used to generate a dendrogram or a tree diagram also known as a phenogram. The phenograms do not necessarily reflect the genetic similarity or evolutionary relatedness between the organisms. Numerical taxonomy is almost entirely predicted on the basis of morphological characters. As a result, it is considered as a synonym for phenetics. However, phenetic classification need not be always numerically based. Use of a large number of characters, their comparison with all characters measured in every other organism and calculating similarities or differences involves enormous amount of data which necessitates use of computers which in turn makes a coding of characters important. Numerical taxonomy is a method of evaluating data and does not produce any new data of its own. Now we will talk about history of numerical taxonomy. The concept of a numerical taxonomy was proposed by French naturalist Michael Adanson in 1763. Adanson proposed that a classification of taxa be based on similarity determined by taking into account as many characters of organisms under classification as possible. Adanson published his family de plantae in 1763 which was the beginning of a coming into being of a new and highly original system of classification which later took the form of a numerical taxonomy. This work contained 65 different classification systems. Adanson's system however had little impact on the plant classification of the period mainly for two reasons. Number one, Adanson was not as influential in his time as his contemporaries like Dejisu 
whose natural system of classification published in Genera Planetarum in 1789 had largely occupied thinking of taxonomists of the era and also because the sexual system of classification proposed by Carolus Linnaeus had gained wide popularity due to its being simple and easy to understand. Thus, Adanson's classification was virtually ignored. Two centuries after Adanson, Robert R. Sokol and Peter H. A. Sneed in 1963 developed the concept of numerical taxonomy to its present form. Numerical taxonomy is also known as a taxometry. The word evolved to its present form through stages like taxonometrics and taxometrics. During 1960s and 1970s, the field of phonetics flourished and it provided extraordinary stimulus to the taxonomy. It was viewed as an approach with great ability to differentiate clearly between characters and character states, proving useful in selecting characters more carefully and therefore circumscribing groups more precisely. However, the advent of cladistics during 1980s caused a severe decline in the popularity of phonetics. Cladistics put phylogeny back into classification and many cladistic-based classifications including angiosperm phylogeny group 2 and angiosperm phylogeny group 3 came into being. A cladistic approach was also able to handle DNA-based RFLP data which became available during 1990s more efficiently. However, over the years, taxometrics has grown into a distinct subdiscipline of plant and animal classification and various methods for numerical analysis of character relationships using computer algorithms have been developed. Now, the principles of numerical taxonomy. Sokol and Sneed proposed seven main tenets of numerical taxonomy, which are number first. Taxonomy should be practiced as empirical science. Number second, classifications should be based on morphological similarities. Number third, classifications based on a large number of characters will be more reliable. Number four, every character should be of equal weightage in creating a natural taxa. Number five, uh, overall similarity between any two entities is a function of their individual similarity in each of the many characters for which they are being compared. Number six, distinct taxa can be recognized because a correlation of characters differs in the groups of organisms under investigation. Number seven, Phylogenetic inferences can be drawn from the taxonomic structure of group and from uh, character correlations uh, given certain assumptions about evolutionary pathways and mechanisms. Now the question arises how many characters are sufficient for numerical classification of taxa. Phonetic approach advocates uh, taking into account a large number of characters. However, there has to be an upper limit as the value of a similarity coefficient will increase only up to a certain limit after which it becomes stable and further addition of uh, characters at this point will not change phonetic correlation between OTUs. Sokol and Sneed called it a matches asymptote hypothesis. The number of appropriate characters will vary for different OTUs depending on the types of characters used and natural congruence among different kinds of data in OTUs under consideration. 60 characters were initially proposed to be minimum. However, later this number was raised to something between 100 and 200. The use of ratio of different characters instead of characters themselves has been found to be useful. As to any other approach, selection of characters and character states which are homologous is a difficulty in a phonetic approach. Evolutionary mosaics where different organs evolve at different rates and evolutionary incompatibility among characters which arises due to convergence, reversals and parallelism also pose a difficulty in character selection. 
Thus, homology is regarded as one of the biggest challenges in phonetic approach. To overcome this difficulty, Sneath and Sokol propose the concept of compositional and structural correspondence. Compositional correspondence was defined as a qualitative resemblance in terms of a biological or a chemical constituents, whereas structural correspondence was taken to mean similarity in terms of a spatial or a temporal arrangement of parts or in structure of biochemical pathways or in sequential arrangement of substances or organized structures. Now the methods of uh, numerical taxonomy, first is the selection of uh, taxa. The organisms are uh, selected for uh, classification and uh, those under consideration are uh, known as OTUs, uh, full form is operational taxonomic units. An OTU may refer to an individual organism, populations, species or uh, genera. The second step is selection of uh, characters. The minimum number of characters as I stated earlier is uh, 60 for a numerically based uh, classification whereas 100 characters are considered ideal. This is followed by description or uh, measurement of uh, these characters. Number third is the construction of a uh, character taxon matrix. The coding of characters and uh, character state is presented in a tabular form which is known as a character taxon matrix. In a character taxon matrix, rows represent the character and uh, columns the taxa. Next is the measurement of a phonetic similarity. The character states are compared to know the measure of overall similarity which is designated as S or a phonetic relationship between each pair of OTUs and to determine the taxonomic structure that is the detection of possible groups and subgroups among all the OTUs. Each character is compared with every other character and results are expressed in percent terms and data are presented in tabular form where in 100% S represents identical taxa and 0% S indicates no similarity at all. The relationship between OTUs is graphically presented in the form of a phenogram. Now the calculation of affinity between OTUs. For calculating affinity between pairs of OTUs, four types of uh, statistical coefficients are used. First is the association coefficients, second distance coefficients, third correlation coefficients and four probabilistic coefficients. Association coefficients, these are uh, pair functions that measure the agreement between pairs of OTUs over an array of uh, two state or uh, multi state uh, characters. Jacquard's similarity coefficient is one of the earliest used and easy to comprehend statistical coefficient. This works well with evaluation of a binary or presence absence data but is not as much effective with the kind of data in which 1 and 0 coding refers to different positive data attributes. Other commonly used coefficients include the simple matching coefficient and number second is the coerce general similarity coefficient. Now the distance coefficients. Distance coefficients are the reverse of association coefficients. They are a measure of dissimilarity between OTUs. Euclidean distance coefficient is the simplest of distance coefficients. Another coefficient is a Manhattan or Steve block distance which yields the absolute number of character state differences between two taxa. This coefficient has been applied to plant groups like Bulnesia from Zygophilaceae. It has also been used in cladistic studies. Now the correlation coefficients. Correlation coefficients are frequently used in phonetic studies. Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient is the most commonly used one. This correlation measure was used by Michener and Sokol in 1957 for taxonomic purpose for the first time and subsequently it was used in many plant complexes like Solanum nigrum complex from Solanaceae family and in the study of Oriza perennis from Poaceae, Bulnesia from Zygophilaceae and Milampodium from Asteraceae. 
Pearson's product movement correlation coefficient is most useful when most of the data exist in more than two states. Now the probabilistic similarity coefficients. These take into account the distributions of the frequencies of the character states or the set of OTUs. It's based on the premise that agreement among rare character states is a less probable event than agreement for frequent character states and should therefore be weighted more heavily. However, probabilistic coefficients are relatively complex and are not used as frequently in phonetic studies as the other coefficients. Goodall's similarity index determines the overall probability that a pair of OTUs will be as similar or similar than can be observed for each character based on the distribution of states in all the OTUs. It has been used in a POESI family. The suitability of these coefficients varies according to the type of data to be handled like binary, multi-state and quantitative. In addition, more than one coefficient may be involved in a computation and the choice of coefficients is based on the worker's preference in terms of conceptualization of the similarity measures. A correlation coefficient which is simple and involves easy coding of data and is useful in measuring similarity between fundamental characters becomes the choice. However, choices do vary and use of diverse statistical coefficients in phonetic classification has actually bothered many workers. In determining a taxonomic structure among all OTUs, Phonetic approach uses logarithms. Like coefficients, there are many logarithms. However, clustering and ordination are the most commonly used ones. Ordination methods commonly used in a phonetic approach include principal components analysis, principal coordinate analysis, canonical variate analysis, canonical correlation analysis, factor analysis, and non-metric multidimensional scaling. All these methods aim at calculating multidimensional relationships and to condense them onto a reduced number of planes for more effective visualization and comprehension. Principal component analysis has been applied to many plant groups including Balboslilis from Cyperaceae, Quercus from Phagaceae, Abies from Pinaceae, Tithonia from Asteraceae and erythronium from Liliaceae. Now the applications of numerical taxonomy. Numerical taxonomy is quite useful for a taxonomist is interested in delimiting similarities and differences between taxa. As such, it has been used in many studies involving different classes of bacteria and in many animal groups. Numerical taxonomy has been used in many angiosperms including Oryza, Solanum and Sarcostema. This method has also been applied to Faranose of Angler. The results obtained from numerical taxonomic methods have been largely found to be in conformity with the earlier classifications. However, in case of Faranose, the earlier assemblages were shown to be unnatural. Numerical taxonomic studies in case of Ononis from Papilionaceae were found to be in conformity with the classification provided by Sergei in 1932. Applying a numerical taxonomy to define a classification of grasses, it was concluded that grasses may have evolved from palms. Ovary in both grasses as well as in palms has a carpellate origin and seems to have undergone greater reduction in case of grasses than in palms. Now the merits of numerical taxonomy. Numerical taxonomy being repeatable and explicable is not as subjective as those of the traditional classifications. It's very useful in delimitation of a taxa as it allows exact estimation of affinities through phonetics and leaves little scope for a personal opinion or decision of taxonomists. It necessitates careful consideration of characters and states in their selection, coding and scaling so there are no missing pieces of information. 
The data in numerical taxonomy are collected from more diverse sources such as morphology, physiology, chemistry and amino acid sequences as compared to the conventional taxonomy. Numerical taxonomic work can be done by less skilled taxonomists. The numerical taxonomic methods being more sensitive in delimiting taxa provide better keys and classifications in comparison to the conventional taxonomic systems. Numerically coded data may be used easily for creation of keys, maps, descriptions, catalogs, etc. with the help of existing electronic data processing systems in herbaria and other taxonomic institutions. The quality of conventional taxonomy is improved by numerical taxonomy as it uses higher number of better described traits. Numerical taxonomy has suggested several fundamental changes in conventional principles of taxonomy in general and classification systems in particular. A number of biological concepts have been reinterpreted in the light of numerical taxonomy. Now the demerits of numerical taxonomy. The method is based on machine algorithms and may not give useful results if the characters chosen for a comparison are inadequate. Number second, the number of characters needed for satisfactory results is very high, which may pose a difficulty for taxonomists who normally manage classification with far less number of characters. It has been seen that results achieved by mechanical means are not superior to those achieved by practicing taxonomists. Furthermore, numerical taxonomy ignores a phylogeny of the organisms being classified and this is regarded as a major drawback of this system. Classifications based on phenetic analysis do not distinguish between plesiomorphies and apomorphies. Consequently, phenetic analyses are liable to be misled by convergent evolution and adaptive radiation. A typical error occurring in phenetic analysis is that basal evolutionary grades which retain many plesiomorphies compared to more advanced lineages appear to be monophyletic. In general, the results from the numerical taxonomy have not been found to be appreciably different from the earlier systems. In this view, some workers regarded this system of classification only as an extension of orthodox methods. In the end, it may be safely concluded that numerical taxonomy may not supplant the orthodox classifications but may serve as a means of refining and improving them. With this, I conclude the present lecture. Hope you understood it.